guys so this is um, after I put down that coffee and stuff uh, to protect the plants um, remember that one that one was a stump I put a new one there um, one that I had grown in a pot but that's the other one and it survived and now you know there's the leaf that was being eaten and there's the other one and it just sprouted some more leaves uh, no new uh, no new um, eating on them that I could notice um, the slugs and snails have just seemed to disappear so it looks like the coffee is actually working you know what I was also thinking um, you guys could probably like if, if anyone's having problems with uh, slugs or snails or anything like that on their plants you could also probably spray the foliage with uh, uh, cool coffee of course not hot coffee but um, <clears throat> and maybe that'll prevent them from eating the leaves as well um, and I don't know that it can hurt any, um, but check online, you know, Google it, um, but I was thinking spraying them with coffee would do the same thing, I mean, this stuff, they hate it, um, so anyways, it's a update on, uh, getting rid of snails and slugs, uh, using coffee grounds, uh, it's working better than the beer, you know, drinking with them and stuff, kept them away for a little while, and no, I'm kidding, um, no, the beer, you know, you fill up a little tray, you know, you put it down next to them, and they crawl in it, and they drown in the beer, they like that rotten stuff, you know, uh, that rotten veggie smell, and beer is rotten veggies, basically, so, anyways, that's my update, uh, uh, post your comments down here, actually, subscribe right about there, and uh, on my channel, there is a link to join us on uh, Facebook. Uh, that's going off right now. We're getting a lot of comments on there, a lot of posts, uh, video posts on there and everything. So join us. All right, God bless you, and have a great night.